this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. Today is something personal and sensitive discussion because I'm going to give you reviews about the products that I bought online, reusable pads. I started to become more conscious with the products that I bought um, into more eco-friendly alternative products because given with the pandemic and you know we are more conscious with our health and at the same time I want to make sure that I I make small steps to make a difference to also help our environment so that's when I thought of this time how about changing from disposable pads and tampons to reusable pads so we just recently moved in, in Spain and therefore we can't really speak the language that yet and it's going to be difficult for me to to ask for help when it comes to the requirements of what I need for reusable pads so the easiest way to do would be buying online so I have these uh, products that I bought through Amazon from Echo Lily it's originally from from UK so this is the sanitary pad which is 30 centimeters for heavy flow and it comes with six pieces for um, panty liner it's the same it comes with six pieces so the other one that i bought will be brand name is rough top if you can see it. yeah what comes in the package or in the box so for echo lily so it comes with a sanitary and panty liner pads and each box comes with this sweat bag this sweat bag so you can store your used or washed uh, sanitar uh, sanitary or panty liner pads you can also use this whenever you're going outside so you have extra ones with along with it and for the rough top so this is what they have the one that i showed you so, um, it's, it's a little bit small for, for the size that I bought, so I'll show you now the uh, actual look of the sanitary pad and the panty liner. Panty liner, this is how it looks like from Echo Lily, very straightforward, single pattern or design. This is the only design that they have and I, I think they only have a standard size for panty liner and they only have one snap button here you can lock it and attach it in your underwear this is how it looks like for for rough top so I bought for the night time which is the 35 centimeters and for the echo lily this is also heavy flow 30 centimeters so for these two they have two snaps button where you can adjust according to how tight you want to attach it to your underwear Right. So material wise, so all of them actually comes with a fleece on top. So I'm showing you the panty liner, but everything, both, I mean, all of them have the same materials. Fleece, charcoal, bamboo, fiber um, to give you comfort and soft and gentle feeling. And in the middle will be the absorption for, uh, with the microfiber layers. And the last layer will be the waterproof to ensure that there will be less or no leakage and spills that's pretty much how it looks like right and um, when it comes to thickness for for the rough top and uh, echo lily for sanitary pad I'm not sure if you can see it here but uh, echo lily is thicker than this one maybe because of the length and i bought a rough top it's because they only the brand that uh, selling uh, the longest um, 35 centimeters for the night time. So, if you're looking for the same land as me, then the rough top could be one of those brands that you can look at online. It's how you can use it, like just lock it according to how tight you want to attach it to your underwear. And for rough top, they have multiple designs. This is the design. And here, and back here. So you can see how big it is. So when you try to fold it and put it in the wet bag that they have put on, it's actually like this. And you can only fit two. That's why I said uh, the downside of buying from Rough Top is that they don't uh, measure the wet bag according to the size of the sanitary pads but anyway you can use it for 
you know, whatever you're out for. If not, of course, you can mix around all your reusable pants and panty lines with the echo lily because it's bigger enough. You have two pockets, one is here and then one is that one. Or else, you can just use your extra bags that like you have a ton. Let's talk about the, the experience and the absorption, how to take care of it, and so on. So when it comes to how frequent, uh, how to wash it and how to take care of your sanitary pads and panty liner, your reusable ones, in their package, and even when you go online sites, uh, usually they will have information how to take care of it. So for Echo Lily, you have everything in, in the box. So you have here, uh, you know, how, how you're gonna maintain in the first use. So all the brands actually will recommend you to wash it first or soak overnight before you use it. If you want to know more about the information, you can simply just log into the website or again, you can log into to any online sites that are uh, selling this kind of uh, reusable pads for all information like Lazada, Shopee or, or Amazon. For the, um, taking care of it, basically you have two choices, whether you hand wash it or washing machine and you can mix it with dark colors just to avoid using fabric softener or bleach because according to their information, it will affect the absorption level of the reusable pads. So I personally chose to hand wash it because I thought that this is something very sensitive. I mean, I'm using it for my sensitive part of my body. So I, I personally chose to wash it, uh, hand wash. So usually I would just, you know, for, for panty liner and for sanitary pad, I do the same. I wash it first uh, with the water in a, in a small bucket or whatever you have, and then wash it for a couple of times. And then once you remove the, the, the stains or the blood, then you can soak it uh, for a couple of hours. For my case, I usually soak it overnight and then just, you know, uh, put everything there for my period so I just put everything in one bucket and then the next day uh, I will wash it so everything else uh, will be removed especially the stains and the, the smell again your preference if you're not particular as me you can have a washing machine along with a dark uh, clothes and the best to, to dry it is to hand dry it uh, they also indicated according to the I mean from the instruction that you can use dryer uh, but again for me I personally prefer to hand dry it it's up to you preference that's how you're gonna take care of it so when it comes to absorption let's talk about panty liner first so I use it for regular days and ending my period so in fact i'm using one right now it's very comfortable of course in the first use you feel the discomfort because you just know that there's something uh, attaching your underwear and it's not comparable to disposable ones because with disposable ones you can find very thin you won't feel at all but uh, it's very good because it's just the first few times of using it or uh, attaching to your underwear but as you get used to it you know you feel comfortable basically when it comes to smell <laughs> um Again, it's it's a it's a case to case basis. So how particular you are. So some women will, will be changing even for regular days every or end of the day or half of the day. So the smell, of course, it, it varies to to your your hygiene level, right? If it's, it's creating too much smell, then probably you have to check it with your doctor. If not, overall. It's a pre preference uh, how frequent uh, you want to change for your panty liner, but for me, it's nothing much to see, especially if you're not ovulating, you're not having your period coming. So it's not required to change as much, but again, there's an instructions given. Their panty liner is good enough. Uh, I mean, you can't really have more. <laughs> Uh, according to it, it's again according to your comfort level. So maybe there will be other options out there, but these are the brands that I have purchased uh, recently. When it comes to a sanitary pads, so this is <laughs> sanitary pads. Okay. So we women we have different uh, flow for our periods. So there are women out there who be very light, regular, uh, just okay. 
but for, for someone like me and some women out there that were the same, the same case as mine, I have super, super, super heavy ink flow. I can finish a lot of disposable pads and tampons. So I have underestimated for my first month. I thought that, okay, because the good and the bad side of this, especially if you have dark color of a reusable pads, you won't be able to tell when you are exactly have to change. Not unless you're monitoring more closely, but because it absorbs so much. And if you don't have clots, for me, I have uh, clots during my period. You can't really tell how much because it's absorbed so much, like I've said. So uh, that's a little bit, not downside, but because you don't, especially when you're outside or when you're too busy, when you're too occupied, when you have a lot of things, you're, you're on the go. You forgot, you know, that you are actually having your flow. So in my experience, the usual case when you forget to, to change, it will start slowly here, the, 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 the stain. But uh, thankfully, because of the third layer for the waterproof, they're trying as much to, to absorb it so it won't create a, a bad mess. But for my case, in my first use, it started over here. And then, of course, uh, it was a total mess. I have to change multiple times and I don't have enough. Uh, I only have 11 uh, as of now, but I have already ordered more because then I can uh, not experiment, but experience more in a way of relying to the dis reusable pads than the uh, disposable ones. So yeah, in my first month experience, it was a disaster because uh, I underestimated my heavy flow period. Even at night, that was the... the <laughs> I have um, the first night I couldn't, I didn't have a proper sleep because I was worrying so much that it will create a lot of stain. So I have to change. And this is, I use it for the daytime. And obviously, this one I use for the nighttime. Um, but having the nighttime reusable pad for my case is not enough. So I have to add um, disposable pads the night time. So I used to have 40 centimeters size of a night pad. So you can imagine that, you know, it can reach to that level to ensure that there won't be stain because that's how much my period can have during my uh, first two, three days heavy flow. And uh, so for my case, for my first month, I have my I have my reusable pad, I have my nighttime pad, 40 centimeters, and I have tap one. So it sounds crazy, but yeah, some women out there inform me that's that's how heavy flow I have. But uh, that's I guess that's really nothing with with uh, with a reusable pads because this is a case-to-case -case basis like I've said some women out there can be light uh, in terms of period flow regular and super heavy like mine so it's not bad of course if you if you need to have a disposable pad and tampons with you you can I mean because it just you know it's un unfortunately that it's something uncontrollable and you can alternate disposable pad and tampons by the end of the day you're actually still using less and you're helping yourself more to get used to with uh, with uh, this uh, reusable ones and according to the researchers and the articles that i have read the longer that you use and get used to it the somehow it helps to to not only a natural flow feeling that your thing will be uh, breathing freely and naturally and therefore it helps to lesser your period flow. So I'm very hopeful for that and that's a good thing to know, right? So yeah, first month, second month though, it was good uh, because I know how, when to change uh, every two, one and a half to two hours, even at home. So I'm very happy. I feel comfortable because when I check my period of like oh my god this is so good because my thing there is uh, breathing freely and the, f the blood is flowing naturally and uh, it's uh, fascinating when you're about to wash it because you want to soak it and again for me it's more hand wash you see how much how much blood 
it can absorb. So yeah, so second month it's good, but for for nighttime, unfortunately, because I don't have much, uh, I don't have extra of this. I just recently purchased, so hopefully it'll it'll, it'll change. This time though, I just use uh, tampons, but still not good enough <laughs> because you know you just have that worries with you uh, consciously <laughs> that you might create stain because this is something new, right? You want to make sure that everything goes well. So during the night time, I still have to change my tampons every two hours. Not because it's leaking, but it's just that I guess it's my way to make sure that nothing will, will, will leak and no stain, you know, at night that uh, will give you this comfort and unable to sleep better. But only it happens on the first night. The second night and third night, um, I have only wearing or using this. Or, or this actually because it gets uh, it gets a uh, lesser and lesser flow so yeah uh, when it comes to smell uh, again <laughs> I've mentioned to you already okay, this is something for you this is uh, something that you have monthly I don't think you will feel disgusted uh, with your own period or with your own thing you know that can be worse there can be more worse than that but this is something within us and I'm pretty okay with everything absorption level super good uh, especially for regular flow women uh, period for women out there it's super good this one is super good and this one as well is super good if you're looking for um, longer one so rough top I think at least here this is in Amazon here in Spain this is the only one that I can I have tracked for the longest one 35 centimeters I'm actually looking for 40 but it's good enough look depending on my um, depending on the reviews and also for my requirements so this products for my I mean in my opinion are very good products um, how often you change so basically for period time I guess it really depends uh, with your period uh, level. So for my case, it's every two hours, but maybe for other people or women out there, it can be just according to the instructions, four to five hours. But in the first first three months, perhaps, you can gauge it. You can, you can experiment and see what works for you, how frequent you need to change. And again, uh, when it comes to washing it, it it's up to you how particular you are so everything varies within you how it works for you okay but when it comes to the product itself I'm happy with it in fact I said I'm buying for the extra ones for my upcoming uh, period so I will be more depending on these uh, reusable pads so question in terms of does it really make a difference to help our environment definitely because when it comes to materials so as you know this is a bamboo charcoal uh, infused fiber and um, basically it lasts you can use it for five to ten years depending on how you take care of your of your reusable pads I mean up front for the first time you have to spend more right but looking in the long run for a long uh, time in investment or savings you actually save a lot because you don't have to worry that much of buying every month and store it in your in your bathroom so here you just wash it hand dry it or use a dryer and then fold it and store it using the wet bag and the more you have it the more that you don't rely to to your um, to the disposable pads and tampons of course as an exemption will be like my case at this point I still have unfortunately need to use uh, disposable pads and tampons is just because my period is super 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 heavy I mentioned earlier that the longer you use then it will be also helpful for your body to flow naturally especially for your period and really looking forward to, for this um, information that your period will get lesser so basically if you have any eco-friendly stores out there that selling this kind of products go ahead and take a look feel if you're not convinced through online if you manage to find an eco-friendly stores that's selling this kind of products go ahead and take a look and ask the salesperson uh, the materials and so on and so forth I'm pretty sure that they will be happy to assist you and this is also a way for us to to support those uh, businesses 
uh, small businesses that uh, supporting the eco eco friendly approach to help our environment. So either you go online for through Shopee, Lazada, or Amazon. If you have any eco friendly uh, uh, stores nearby your area, go ahead explore and uh, this is a good time it's never get too late you know to make a difference for our environment and also for our health it's going to be good and also saving more money because uh, this is something that we can't uh, get rid of <laughs> so we have our period monthly and uh, yeah if ever that I have missed any any particular information that you think will be valuable for you to know to consider buying reusable pads please comment below so that's pretty much it uh, i hope it's been valuable for you useful uh, helpful and uh, hopefully you will consider buying reusable pads whether through the nearby eco-friendly stores or online and uh, i'll be happy to know that so thank you so much for watching and stay safe you have a wonderful day wonderful time and god bless thank you